Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. So first of all, apologies for not making video for such a long time. I had my finals going on and the second thing is that have a very happy and a Merry Christmas. So thank you so much for waiting, for holding on and being such a nice audience as always. Now this topic is something that is related to the Canadian winters. I recently asked in the community cap tab sorry that if you want to see a video on how to cope up with the canadian winters and a lot of you people said yes about it and uh, well the video is here and the ones who have said no i am assuming that they might have an idea how to do it or they might be situated in canada for some time now so for those people just ignore the video and walk ahead <laughs> So coming on to the first, first, first advice is that it's actually a very generic advice but get yourself a house with a heater. If you don't have a heater, it's going to get really difficult, it's going to get really difficult even in bathrooms or while you're in kitchen cooking, not just while sleeping but even to perform your daily activities around the house, it gets really difficult. So the good thing is to get a house with a heater. And if they don't have a heater, then try to get a heater from Amazon. It comes around to $100, $110. Or there are even some temporary ones for $35, $40. So try to get those and try to keep yourself as warm as you can throughout the entire winter. Now the second thing is to obviously to get a good jacket. So I asked a lot of you that what do you think a good jacket is all about? And a lot of you said that as long as it is thin, as long as it is warm, it works. And I completely agree with that. You need to invest a little more than a certain limit and you're going to get a good jacket. What I say about a good jacket, I again asked a lot of you and you said that North Face and Columbia and Mountain Warehouse are the top pickings. And some of you even suggested to go for point zero. I personally don't like point zero that much because they are really heavy. I agree that they are on the cheaper side. So in case if you are someone who can really take, you know, the heaviness on your shoulders and your back, then go for those jackets. And some people even suggested Canada Goose. I mean, if you're that rich, why not? To the next point, have yourself a great winter footwear. Like that is the most important thing because not only you're walking in snow, so you need to keep yourself warm and you need to keep yourself dry. But also since there might, there might be some days when you're walking on ice, so you need to have a good grip. Otherwise, if you fall, it creates a whole lot of another medical situations and dependencies. So the good thing would be to have a really good footwear. So the good footwear can be from, again, from North Face. It can be from uh, Columbia. The one I wear is from Surreal. You can even have it, again, on a more expensive and fashionable side is Uggs. But I personally like the one from Surreal. It's really light in weight. It keeps me warm and toasty. And also, uh, it does not make me sweat. So there is like no scene of foot odor and everything of that sort and also the fact that it's not that expensive in case if you're wondering uh, how much did it cost me it costed me around 160 dollars and this is the second winter that is going on so i think it is going pretty well now the next advice is that if you're coming from your home country like india or even bangladesh or pakistan anywhere else try to get yourself thermals from there so i have two sets of thermals one is from jockey the other is from Mon Monte Carlo. So the Monte Carlo one is more expensive and thinner. I wear that more in minus 15 to minus 20 and the jockey one I wear it for more like regular days. Now try to understand that the places where you work or you study or you live is going to have a heater. So you don't need to layer up inside your houses. You just need to have like a good sweater or a thermal and a good jacket on and you're good to go. Trust me your body can take those temperatures. So try to get a thermal that is cheaper and warmer so create that balance so the next advice is a very personal and a weird advice and it holds true to a lot of people coming newly to canada from india or any other warmer countries is that i've seen that when the temperature dips you guys start to wear like four to five layers you wear three layers of pants you wear four layers of t-shirt a jacket a muffler and just um the earmuffs the two types of gloves you don't need any of those your body can actually take minus five minus six with a lot of ease try not to layer up so much because the temperature is going to go till minus 20 or minus 25 so that kind of layering will be more applicable to those temperatures let your body settle down it takes a day or two you might get a slight cold you might cough a little but trust me your body can take that much try to brave it out a little bit because if your body gets you know um 
adjusted to these temperatures you can easily carry out till minus 20 but if you start wearing like three layers of cloth when it is minus 2 it makes no sense because it's going to go till minus 25 so try to go a little little tough on yourself and it works wonders next advice is a very common advice that a lot of elders of ours give that is protect your ears protect your neck protect your chest protect your fingers and protect your toes because these are the extreme points of the body where the heat is excluded out from <laughs> given out from so try to be very protectful for these areas and try to get yourself really good socks by good socks i don't mean woolen socks get yourself good gloves and hopefully touch screen gloves so you don't have to constantly take off your gloves and use your phone while you are outside try to get yourself a good cap earmuffs and even a good scarf that keeps you warm and keep the scarf inside so that it covers your chest like that when you're wearing a jacket and that's pretty much it like it does not take a lot of clothes it just takes really good quality of clothes to survive the temperature that's it. this advice is a very stupid weird and constantly you hear from your grandmother kind of advices that eat well try to be very healthy during this season because not only it's about surviving the cold but also staying healthy throughout so it's not about not just getting frostbite but also being strong and having a good immune immunity system immune system so try to eat well and the second thing to do is that moisturize yourself really well the wind over here is really dry when it comes to the cold winter and also the because of the heater it gets really dry around here so in case if you're someone that has really dry skin then moisturize really well and in case if you're someone that has problem of sinuses and bronchitis get yourself a humidifier for me i have sinuses and a humidifier works great with the heater because that helps me to allow a lot more easily and it does not gives me neck or uh, chest heaviness so if you're someone who suffers from same problems like these then invest in a humidifier it's not that expensive it comes around to 35 49 dollars and it works for three to four years pretty smoothly so get yourself a humidifier thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you found it useful and in case you think i skipped out anything then note it down in the comment section below i'm sure someone will find it useful